Smash in the UCAT can be one of the most important factors to determine if you get into the university of your choice. So today I'm going to try and help you to achieve in the 99th percentile. Hey, I'm Daniel Gibbon and I just did the UCAT and achieved a score of 3160. And today I'm going to be telling you how you can prepare so that you can get a score that's even higher. The first step in your preparation should be familiarizing yourself with the test as this is one two-hour test comprised of five subsets, verbal reasoning, decision making, quantitative reasoning, abstract reasoning, and situational judgment. Each of these subsets are scaled to a score out of 900, with only the first four being used to comprise your score out of 3,600, with the fifth subset, situational judgment, being largely unimportant and only really used for certain universities. So I think your first step should be looking into each of these subsets and determining what the questions are like and what they're trying to test you on. I'll be releasing videos on each of these individual subsets and so I think that should be, that'll be a good place to start. Once you've developed a rough understanding for the test in itself, you can then start doing untimed practice questions for each of the subsets. However, when you're doing these practice questions, it is incredibly important to focus on accuracy rather than speed. As because in this test, you're building up skills on how to answer these questions rather than just memorizing knowledge. And the most efficient and best way to build up your skills for UCAT is to, pra is to first develop a good accuracy in all the different question types. And once you're doing these question types, you'll be able to identify all the different types of questions in each of the subsets. And then you should formulate a step-by-step -step plan for exactly how you're going to attack every single type of question. So then no matter what question you're faced with, you know exactly what to do and you follow that step-by-step -step plan and have a high accuracy. I would also recommend that you tackle each subset individually. First doing VR and optimizing and perfecting your verbal reasoning skills and then moving on to decision making and then quantitative reasoning and then abstract reasoning and then situational judgment. As by doing this, the skills carry on to the other and you also try and you also don't get overwhelmed with trying to do all of the questions at once and instead you can focus on each of the individual question types as they come. With continued practice and untimed conditions, you'll eventually get to a point where you're able to consistently get 100% in the question type. And once you're at this point, you can then slowly begin to increase your speed. However, it's incredibly important that as you increase your speed, you maintain around a 90% plus uh, accuracy rate to be able to achieve highly in UCAT. And so you ensure that you do this process slowly and methodically so that you can maintain this accuracy whilst become faster and faster so that you can do all the questions within the set time in the exam. It is so important that you don't just spam out thousands of practice questions because it makes you feel like you're doing more work, but rather you slowly and methodically build up your skills in each of the question types until you have both accuracy and speed. One of the most important parts of this process is whenever you get a question wrong, time or untimed, you don't just move on and forget about it, but you sit down, you analyze it, and you identify exactly why you made the mistake, exactly what the mistake was, and exactly how you can prevent that mistake from ever happening again. And by doing this, you're effectively preventing you from making the same mistake in the future, increasing your accuracy in the long run. And this is such an important process because otherwise you're just going to end up being spamming out endless practice questions and getting pretty much nothing out of it. Then once you've continued to improve your speed, we're at a point where you're not only doing the questions under time, but you're also doing them to a very high accuracy, around 90% plus. You can then move on to doing full subset tests where you do an entire subset practice test and you see how you go and you see if you're able to transfer all of those skills to a full test. And then once you've perfected all of the full subset tests, you can then move on to doing full exams. And you're using these exams to perfect your uh, exam strategies rather than just more practice for the questions. So then in these exams, you can, you can see how you actually perform on the day. So that's the end of the video. I would highly recommend that you check out the other UCAT videos that I made, specifically on the individual subsets. And I've also made an ATAR reaction video if you're all interested in that. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you leave a like. And if you enjoy content about ATAR, UCAT, and life in general, please subscribe.